Councilman Burkham. Yep. Ironically, from the Sun, um, could you talk us through the injury? Yeah, I think it was not really much of an injury. It's more just to, to check that I wasn't going to make it worse. Obviously, I played a lot of tennis and, um, yeah, a little bit of fatigue. And, and um, yeah, I just was, was just checking and, and just tried to loosen up the hips a little bit. And, um, yeah, I was when you're playing a lot of matches like that, you're going to have little niggles here and there. And, um, yeah, I was... I got some time to rest, and I think I should be fine. Was it was it more leg or abdomen? Do you uh, I haven't really uh, talked with my team just quickly now, and I think it's more of like a a hip and just tight general tightness. And played a very physical match last night, so I'm I'm not surprised. I'm feeling a little bit quick turnaround, and um, yeah, I was uh, got some time to rest, and hopefully um, I can can uh, rest and recover and, and strengthen the area and, and be good for Miami. Yeah. I'll just follow up what you just said. What is it like physically playing Brooksby? Because he has a lot of balls he gets back and just like puts you in awkward positions constantly. I would feel like that's probably going to leave most people sore the next day again. <laughs> yeah. He's a tricky player. I, was, I really enjoyed the match last night and I thought I played um, great, you know, and it was uh, a lot of people t messaging me saying it was a, a really good match to watch, you know, it was a different match. There was um, a lot of long rallies, 20 plus ball rallies, both very physical and, and on these courts when the ball's getting chewed up and he's standing on top of the baseline just redirecting the ball and I felt like I was doing all the work, so... Um, I really enjoyed the match last night, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing how how Jensen progresses with his career. He's got such a unique game, and I think um, if he can improve his serve a little bit, he's going to be in the top ten very soon. And um, yeah, it's just really cool to see how he competes and the way he holds his concentration is amazing, you know. And and especially from such a young age, and um, he's got a bright future ahead of him. Matt Futterman for the New York Times. Can you compare 18 year old Cam Nori to 18 year old Carlos Alcaraz? It's sort of, I mean, does he does he feel like he's you're playing an 18 year old? And what 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 were you like at that age on the tennis court? Yeah, that's a good question. Definitely, definitely nowhere near as complete as he was when he was uh, the, when he is 18 right now, and um, the way he's he's moving and. He's got a, a full game, you know. He's got a great serve. He's uh, moving well. He's forehand's dangerous, backhand's dangerous. He's got great hands. So, um, yeah, he's he's got me twice already. So, um, yeah. And when I was 18, I was uh, nothing on my forehand, you know. And go, I was heading to TCU. I was had no pressure. I was, yeah, I had a lot of other interests as well at that time. And and. Um, yeah, it's very cool to see him that focused and that engaged and um, maximizing what he's got um, with all the talent that he's got. And, and um, yeah, he was too, too good today for me. Chris? Cam, yeah, Carlos is progressing rather rapidly. I wonder if you see any difference in him from when you faced him at the U.S. Open to today. Um, I definitely played a little bit better today. And um, I think he's just... A little bit more comfortable in in, um, in these bigger matches, and and um, he's obviously not played too many of these big matches in quarters of a of a thousand. And and facing him today, he played great, and and um, he played a very solid match, and he uh, served a lot lot better than I did, and I was a little bit disappointed with the way I served, but. Um, no, he he played a very good match, and it was a high level out there, and and. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Try to make these all Carlos questions, but um, plays played a lot of guys, a lot of fast guys on tour. Where do you put his his speed on the chart? Yeah, he's always he's always getting there, and and um, he's so talented. You know, with the the foot positioning and the way he slides and trusts it is is amazing. But um, yeah, I think maybe four or five points that uh, you would think it's completely done. He's he's getting it back there and, and putting it in an in awkward position. And and um, for me, I'd I'd put him right next to Demon uh, in the speed category. And um, I'll say top three for sure. Who's the third? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure, but 
maybe Schwartzman's up there, but I think he's he's a little bit more explosive than those guys as well. Ben? And for you, how gratifying is it to, after this tournament, which you won and surprised a lot of people by winning, to be backing it up with, with the runs you've had this year, Acapulco, and, and solid run here as well? Do you take pride in sort of consolidating, I guess, that breakout you had here? Yeah, for sure. I think um, always nice to to back that up and know that it wasn't just a one-off event. I won, um, yeah, obviously Delray and then Acapulco got a lot of matches on my belt and I felt like I was playing um, at at the level that I was last year. So it was nice to, to feel like myself again. And um, yeah, just for me, I was a little bit disappointed with the way I served a little bit today. And and physically, it's not not really, uh, usually I don't have matches where I've physically it lets me down. And I think today I, uh, I did a little bit and um, just need to go back and get better and stronger. And um, yeah, but uh, still a great week for me and and um, happy to, to make the quarters. And uh, it's going to... I'm looking forward to seeing the the, the match on uh, Saturday. Rough of us, Charlie will be a good one. Oh, um, you're you're pretty close to the top ten now in terms of points. Or is it something you would target in terms of scheduling? Maybe add another tournament to, to make a push uh, to get there, maybe before clay. If that's something you're less excited about, I don't know. Yeah, it's for me. It's a a big goal to to be top ten, and it'll be nice to take that box. But. You know, it doesn't really mean anything. You know, I feel like I've got a lot of time left in my career, and and um, uh, I want to push to, to even even higher goals. And I feel like just just taking care of uh, of what I've been doing day by day, and and uh, making all the best decisions possible on the court, off the court, and and um, keep pushing for more, and and keep improving when I I can. And I feel like a Got a lot of things in my game that I want to improve on, and um, I don't think I'm going to change my schedule at all just to to be top ten for a week or something like that. I want to, um, I'd love to be there and in, in, inside the top ten and consolidate myself there for the next uh, ten years of my career. And I, this is when I'm I'm going to be peaking my career in the next kind of three or four years, and and um, just want to make the most of it, and I want to keep enjoying playing at the level that I am right now. Do you anticipate there being a time when you're not happy with making the quarters? <laughs> like that, that you'll be disappointed if all you've made is the quarters. Do you see? Do you see that trajectory? I'm yourself? pretty disappointed right now, like oh, after yeah, losing okay. that. But um, I think there's a lot of positives I can take from this week, and and um, yeah, I mean, if you just put it in perspective, it's obviously great to, to make a, a, another quarters here, but um, you still want to to push further and, and want more, you know, that's the funny thing about tennis. You you, you would have say I would have signed for, for being quarters here maybe two years ago and then suddenly I'm here and I'm I'm disappointed and I think that's for me it's a good thing. You know, I want more and and want to keep going after the guys ahead of me and um yeah, it's just funny how it works, but it's definitely a good thing. Where would you say that your serve went wrong? You mentioned that you you weren't pleased with your performance in that aspect. Yeah, I think he he was doing a very good job attacking my second serve, and and um, obviously he's been doing that well all week. And um, I just think I wasn't hitting the spot as well as I have been all um, all tournament. But um, yeah, and, and slightly uh, too many first serves missed, and gave him the opportunity to attack my second. And and um, yeah, all credit to him. You know, he was I was at times that I did hit my spot he was neutralizing hitting it deep and then using his speed to to neutralize the point and and try to be the one dictating play but I think I did a lot of things well but I think in that department I it let me down slightly but it was a, a great match and and all credit to him kind of coming coming out there and and um taking advantage of 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 the situation and and played a little bit more aggressive and served a bit better than me in, in the bigger moments Last question from Ben. How was your sort of defending champion experience here now that it's wrapped up? Just getting the mural, obviously, and stuff. And uh, feel I, the point defense is a little different because of the scheduling, which is the whole sort of uh, vibe of being defending champion. It feel different uh, here. I mean, it's, it was the first time being the defending champ. So, yeah, that the mural on that day was very cool. 
<coughs> un unveiling that and and seeing that being around the history and the, and the legends of the game you know it's uh, one of the biggest tournaments in the world so that was very cool and then yeah it was a lot of fun playing here and I was a little bit disappointed by the, the schedule on the first day I think it showed a little bit lack of respect and uh, other than that it was it was great and I enjoyed it and it was it was great to see that the fans and um, back and it was absolutely packed on the weekend and, and packed today and and it was a great atmosphere out there and, and yeah enjoyed being playing on that court and and uh, I got a lot of support from a lot of Brits around a lot of TCU fans so um, yeah I enjoyed the week it's just a little bit disappointing not going further but um, can't win them all anyone about the tournament about the schedule and because a lot of people were surprised to see you on five that first as the fan champ i didn't talk to anyone i just yeah i was it is what it is nothing you can do but i was still in the tournament and and um yeah it was interesting but as i was on call one all of her matches and and i was only for, for the last two so obviously there was a lot of uh, in the women's there were a lot of seeds not playing and and obviously on my side of the draw was stacked with the scheduling, but at least two or three and any other tournament would be fine, but it was, I was a little bit disappointed to see that. And But it is what it is. Every court's the same, but it was, um, it was all good in the end. All right. Thanks, everyone. Uh, Alvarez is coming right in. Okay. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, guys.